Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you for watching. How do you do? Um, I just want to start things off with addressing the elephant in the room, and that is, I've shaved my beard, okay? And I've also had a haircut, and I'm full aware that the consequence of doing such a thing makes me look like I'm 12 years old. So <laughs> I apologize if I look extremely younger than normal hair grows so uh, yeah never mind just wanted to get that over and done with straight away so yeah thank you for uh, tuning in today we are going to Campbell this morning so um, it's not that far away we actually done a, a, a massive piece of road in Campbell not too long ago uh, by the airport well I say airport it's more of a runway we did like a few miles worth of road so might see that road, might not. But today, according to the paperwork, we're going to a building site. Uh, more specifically, we're going to Bovis Homes. So, um, it depends on what sort of current state that home is in. It could be at the beginning stages, so it's very muddy. Um, or it could be at the end stages, where it's very tight. So we'll have to wait and see. It won't be too long until we're there. overtake that bicycle um, and of course if it is the uh, if it is a new build then there's gonna be like a lot of probably scaffolding round and like other vehicles in the way other lorries delivering stuff um, sites home sites building sites whatever you want to call them are always the worst to deliver to that I wouldn't have, well I wouldn't say the worst to deliver to it's just more the ones you need to sort of keep more of an eye out, more stuff can go wrong, be it construction workers and vehicles in the way, or public vehicles and persons in the way. Um, you just have to be a bit careful on construction sites relating to building sites and homes and things. But never mind. We got 76 tonne going there today. Um, my text said I'm only doing one run, and my next run is supposed to be going to Brockworth. So, again, all could change, we'll have to wait and see. Many times before I've told you what the, the day is supposed to be doing, and it's, we've done something completely different. <sighs> so, yeah. Don't know why I'm yawning. No idea. Right, so, um, hopefully we'll be there soon. Right, it's that another saying that we're less than a mile away. I've never been to this place before, so I, I don't know where it is. And um, I don't even know the sound I was taking me to the right place. To top things off, I am going through a weight limit area where it says there is a lorry watch. <laughs> but it does say accept for access and I need access, so. I am perfectly legal. Right, so where are you? The only thing about going to new places, you obviously you don't know where they are, and you have to try and find them. Sometimes you're lucky and you'll find them straight away, first time. And uh, sometimes you'll have to keep looking for five, 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes, just trying to find the thing. Which one is this going to be? Of course, if you can see like, flashing lights in the background somewhere in a field that gives you a pretty good hint of where you need to be and obviously we're looking for the usual site entrances um, like signs on the road road closures things like that just to give you some sort of idea of where you need to be so I don't like this turn coming up okay it's good I thought I had to give way then to the left and I can't see it's completely blind if I had to So the sat-nav is telling me to go up there, on the left, which I do not like the idea of doing. Nah. Let's 
So there's a site there, but that's not it. No road marking signs down here, which looks good. Got a car behind me. Gonna go left. my hazards on and stop here a sec because I really don't like where it's trying to take me I'm going to try and find out where I've got to go I've just found it in the corner of my eye for some reason my sat nav is completely playing up as well my sat nav is completely froze for whatever reason so I'm relying on my phone. Then my phone loses signal because I'm in an area of no like 3G or 4G. I've just spotted it in the corner of my eye up here. So now I've found the site, I've now got to find a way of getting in. It would have been so much easier if I just come on the main road up there. which is definitely the way I'm going back. Right. Yeah, so now we've just got to try and find the company. It's Coatstone, so they've got white vehicles. I'm going to have to hard reset my sat-nav. Ah, I see a paver over there. And here we go. That's complete guesswork. Like, I don't actually know where they are. Just, just trying to guess it. Looking at that, I'm going to have to reverse in. You're right. Reverse in. There's a gate on the left I got a miss, and there's mud on the right that I got a miss. Got to get it just right. There we go, we're in. You can just see now just how tight that was to get in. It's not that tight, but... From when you're reversing it, it looks tighter than it is. Right, so this is paver work, because there's a paver here. Um, I expect I'll be staying here as well. I expect they're coming to me and do that. But I don't know. So I'm going to go for now find out what's happening and I'll be back in a sec. Right, so. As I expected, they're coming to me. Um, not because I couldn't get back, because I think if I tried, I probably could go back and reverse onto the paver. But um, the angle is too steep. So he said, drive, what do you think? Do you think you can come back here and tip? I looked at the angles up there. You'll have to come to me. So I'm just tipping now. Of course, you can see this. I've got my camera on the back. Down we go. Um, yeah, you, you, should, you should be able to see his hand signals. Basically, he said, that go down, so that's why I'm going down. If he does that, it means close the tailgate. But I expect I will anyway.
Yep, I'll close it anyway. Right, so now he's uh, backed off a little bit, I can talk properly. So yeah, we, um, I, re I reversed up to here just now. My initial thought was I probably wouldn't be able to get around the corner onto the paper. So I got out and had a look. And he said, what do you think, Joe? Do you think you can do it? And then he goes, he goes, it is a bit steep. Like, rather than being flat, it's like that. So I looked at it, made a judgment call. Sort of got in the position where I think the lower would be. And I sort of do this thing where I sort of like lift my leg up a little bit, my left leg, or my right leg, depending on which the, the bank is on. If I could feel myself sort of moving with, like to the left or right, I know it's weird, but I get an indication that, you know, when that body's up, I'm going to be holding on to the door because I'm going to be tipping down there. So I said no. I said, sorry to be a pain, mate, but nah, it's too steep. You're going to have to come to me. Which is fair enough. I'm entitled to do that. I've actually uh, took a photograph. So um, I suppose I could show you now. Wow. I could show you now on camera or I could show you the proper picture, but that's what it looks like on the camera. So, yeah, by the time I um, get the body up, I'll be, I'll be tipping, literally tipping over rather than just the body. Right, so, I could just talk to you on and on and on. Or I could just let you watch the footage on the back. What I'd probably do is uh, speed up a little bit and then that's how it goes. You've never seen paperwork before, so hopefully you enjoy this. So we just finished tipping where we are in Kemble and uh, time to go back to the yard. Just need to clean my glasses. Um, there's no back camera at the moment because why is he driving it for? Um, because I ran out of battery. They managed two hours of pure recording, so that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. The other one was on sort of. I was on for about three hours, but all in all, it recorded about an hour's worth of footage and it was completely dead. So already with the GoPro, I've recorded twice as much. And the battery wasn't even dead, it just had one bar left. So it could have recorded more, but I wanted to charge it up ready for later. So it's going to be charged up on the way back. And then when we leave to go to the next place, I put it back on. Might not actually press play, might wait until we get to where we got to get loaded to uh, where we tip but I definitely put it up anyway right <laughs> great now there's a lorry in the way actually before we go seatbelt on first then mic that's how I like it. Right, let's go. We are going to go a different way to how we got in. Because I don't want to be going through that, that fucking village again. Looks like he's going to park up on the road. I can get past him how he is, but I just want him to stop first. I didn't want to go past him while he was still driving. And down we go. Ugh. Right, so we're not we're not going down there. That's, we come from down there. I ain't doing that. Let's go this way. 
go to Sirens Esther. This is the road we time at. In my blog, I wrote about how we time act a two, three mile stretch of road. This is it. This is the road we time act. All the way up there and all the way down here. Mind you, there's bloody cuts in the road already. It was um, during the summer that we time out this, so it was quite nice. It's one of those jobs where it's so hot out, you just get out of your cab and just chill out for a little bit. Like we had a couple of breaks in here because the whole road was completely shut. So we would uh, just chill out basically, two, three o'clock in the afternoon, end of the day. It was very hot. We just stop what we're doing, have a drink, catch our breaths, and then go back to the yard. It was really nice in the summer. It's a shame that. Everyone, every single person who did my job when I started has now left. I, I don't know whether I've said that or not. I, when I started back in March, I was the newbie. And there were one, two, three, four, five other people who did the job. I was the sixth. And um, yeah, I, I was the new guy. Like, I looked up to everybody else. I was asking all the questions and you know what I mean? I was asking all them. Whereas now, I am the most experienced. Nobody who worked when I started is now working for the same company. One of them is doing the same thing, but for someone else. So I see him every day, but he's not working for the same company. And actually, he asks me for more advice than I ask him. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, it's quite a shame actually that everybody who worked here when I started has left. It's a bit annoying, because I got on with all of them. So, um, that's a shame. Whereas now there is three of us working for this company, one of whom their last day is today. There was four of us, but one of them retired last week. So as of Monday, there's just two of us, me and uh, old Reggie boy, who I know watches some of these vlogs. So hello Reg, if you are watching. Just me and you, mate. Me and fucking you. Right. Because I had no lunch yesterday, again, if you read my daily blog, you'd know why. I want to go and get something to eat before I go back to the yard. I might put on a 15 minute break as well while I get in the grub. Kill two birds with one stone. So, I will see you all in a mo, and um, I suspect we will be loaded next time you see me, and we will be on our way, or even at, where we are going. See you in a sec. Okay, welcome back everyone. We are on our way to Broxworth. Um, we're actually, we're, we are here now. We actually time out this road, going up. I realise I probably say that quite a lot now, don't I? We used to do this, we did this, we did that. Why is that on? But um, I guess the, the longer you've been with the company, the more uh, stuff you can say that you've done. Anyway, that bridge that we just went under, that's the road we want to get on. That is the street that we need to go to. Ermine Street. I've not actually been here, well, I've been on the road before, but I haven't been uh, tarmacking on this job before. So hopefully we can find it first time. We've only got seven ton on and it's shoot work. Got two hours of shoot work booked. So I will be putting my feet up. <laughs> I've got the uh, camera on the back. I've charged up the battery a little bit from earlier. It's not fully charged, so I'm probably just going to let it run out. I, just, I expect it to run out of battery before I finish it. So, um, yeah, just going to leave it running, I reckon. Du -du, no right turn. Well, I need to go right. Oh, man. That means I've got to turn around. How am I going to turn around? Can you do a left turn from over there? I'm hoping you can do a left turn. There's a roundabout, I think, down here. I'm hoping we can turn around at it. 
Can't see anyone down there. Wanting to turn right there, but I can't. Oh well. We'll go down here then. Hopefully there's a roundabout down here. Turn around and come back on ourselves. But yeah, no, we um, only got a seven ton. Two hour street work. The company is Amy, I believe, yeah, it's Amy. So it could actually be a bit of paver work, I don't know. I seem to recall someone saying that Amy quite often do paver work when it's down for shoot work. Can't remember who said it. Right, let's get in the right hand side lane then because we want to do a full UE on this roundabout. Glad there's a roundabout here. Do, do, do. So this has added a little bit of extra time to the journey, unfortunately, but we'll be there in a couple of minutes. Let's do a complete UE. Oh, there's a police car there. Mr. Five-O. Let's go round. We're, we're going round. Hello, Mr. Police car. Going back up here. Brockworth. And into the left lane we go. Right. So now at those crossroads we need to turn left. Left at the crossroads. And then paperwork just says Ermine Street. Doesn't say anything else. Two hours day work, hand laid booked. So when we get there, I need to put the pins in and then lift the body up as soon as I can because during route, because I've only got seven turn on, some of it would have gone forward on the body as I've mentioned previously. So I like, personally, I like to get the body up as soon as I can. So all that tarmac that has me forward goes back to the back of the body again. It just means that it's less likely to go cold and I'm less likely I then have to get into the back and clean it. Right. What we want to do then, guys, is we want to try and find them first time. We don't want to go past them and then have to turn around. We want to be able to find them and park up because I suspect it's a road they're doing. Uh, not a road, a path. In fact, I haven't actually looked to see what type of tarmac I got on. 14 mil. So it could be anything. We need to find road workers or traffic lights or site entrance, anything like that. Any sort of flashing lights. That's what we need to see. What are these signs saying on the left here? And oh, there's someone in high vis as well up there on the right. KTH, it's probably here then I need to be. Ah, oh, there's a roller down on the left. down there. I expect it's here that we're doing. There's a ramp here, men at work sign down there. Traffic control ahead. Got all these little holes here that I think we're going to be doing, which is not good. Because I need to get a break in.
Where are they then? I need to turn around now. Can't turn around on the right, and this is a weight limit. There's a lot of flashing lights up here. This is still Ermin Street. I'm still on the right street. So I think it's here. I was, I think I was uh, doing the right thing and coming up here. Yeah, I was. Right, we're here. This is where we need to be. So I spoke to the gang and um, yeah, this should be me for the day more than likely. Straight back home after this. I expect I'll be here for the rest of the day. Um, well, not rest of the day, but like a couple of hours easily. I'm down for two hours shoot work. Arrive at your destination at 1252. If I leave now. <laughs> yeah, I'm down for two hours sheet work, but um I'd be highly fucking surprised if that happens. So it'd be it'd be more like three hours easily. So I've made a note of it. I'll let you know as well. I've got here at ten past twelve. So by ten past two. Should be out of here. Don't think I will be, but should be out of here. So yes, um, it's, it is patchwork going all the way along there, so um, I can't remember if I said now, but driving down here, there were holes in the middle of the road, weren't there, and road works all the way up. It's um, all, the, all of that, basically, that we've got to do, so we will basically be a rolling roadblock. I'll have to spin around at the roundabout in a second, do that lay-by on the right-hand side. I ain't got my dash cam on, so you can't see. There's a, there's a lay-by on the right-hand side, just in front of me. We'll be doing that. And then it'd be going down to the next patch and stopping there and then they sort all that out. It's all go, go, go. But yes, um, I, I, I expect that dash cam, um, the GoPro at the back will probably die before we actually end up doing any work. <laughs> Never mind. See you in a bit. Right, so sip rip is, uh, we're, we're still on this site here. It is patchwork, it's um, that long road that we went down, that's what we're doing. So, uh, doing bits and bobs down there. Um, yeah, so, I mean, it's going all right so far. I did think when I got here that um, I'd be waiting a while before I got tipped, because it has been the case before in the past. But no, they're, uh, they're really on it today, which is fantastic. It means I might get home a little bit earlier, which would be nice. So you know, it's really good. <clears throat> um, I did get beeped up by a car. <laughs> um, I had to move forward. Like I said, it's a rolling sort of road closure. So I had to move forward to um, go to the next part. And some dozy woman's gotten behind me and I've stopped where I need to stop and she's right up my fucking ass and can't get out. So she had to reverse back then drove past and as she drove past she beeped her horn fucking hazards and beacons are on and the stupid cow's still beeping a horn at me but um i mean i sound like i'm pissed off but i'm really not i don't give a shit it happens something you get used to very quickly i must admit so um 
yeah, I wouldn't worry about getting beeped at. If you are becoming a lorry driver or are a lorry driver, I don't give a fuck about getting beeped at. It just annoys me that she's so stupid. That's what annoys me. Anyway, yeah, 10 past 12 we got here. Time now is 10 to 2. So in 20 minutes time, the two hour time slot is up. I don't think personally that I will be out before the two hours is up like I uh, originally thought. Um, yeah, to begin with, I said I don't think we'd be out before two hours. I thought it'd take a bit longer than that. And so far, I think it's going to. Nothing against the gang. I love this gang. They're all right. Can have, you can go out and have a chat with them, do you know what I mean? Not that I do, because that's against company procedures. Right, that's me done for the day now then. Uh, the time now is 10 to 3, and I was supposed to be out at 10 past 2. So, what's that? It's 40 minutes. So, yeah, only 40 minutes over the um, booked time, but that's fine by me. I ain't got a problem with that because if I finish at that time, I would have had to find something else to do anyway before I finish for the day. Whereas now I can go straight back to the yard. And um, that's it, it's me done for the day. Now, unfortunately, I do have a bit of tarmac on the back of me, but it's a stupid amount of tarmac. I'm talking less than half a ton, which means it is going to be rock hard when I get back. Um, and I might not be able to get any of it out, which is going to be a bit of a problem. But I'll have to have a go, I'll have to have a try. I can't get it out, I can't get it out, but I've got to give it a go. <clears throat> so, yeah, a bit of a bit annoying that I've got to do that. I've got half a tank of fuel as well, so I need to get some fuel at the same time. Um, because it's Friday, by the time I get back, they're probably going to lock up where I got a tip, which means I've got to gain access using my key, and then I've got to get out the cab to open the gate. Then when I finish, I've got to get out the cab to close the gate. It's just a bit of a nightmare when you finish at this time of day and you've got to take stuff back on a Friday. But, never mind, it is what it is. It is what it is. We head back anyway. And then, I mean, I'm looking forward to going home, to be honest with you, like, as much as I love driving, today I want to go home. <laughs> and start relaxing. Got a car down this side. No, he's going down there. Um, we're not that far away from him, to be honest. Be back in about 40 minutes in the yard. So looking about getting back for about half past three. So still nice early finish for Friday compared to what most people finish out, I suppose. Can't moan at all. And the gang there, I've spoken about them before. Normally, you, um, whenever you got, got there, you know you're going to be a bit longer than what the paperwork says. It's just the way it is. Nothing against them. It's not like they're slow or anything, but it's just normally when you got them, you got a bit. You got to wait a bit longer. You got to take that into consideration. They normally get like the really shit roads. They work on behalf of another company, but um, yeah, normally when you got them, normally when you see them, you know that you're going to be a bit longer than normal. But the gang, the gang themselves, they're really nice people. I get on with them. They're Welsh, which is good. But yeah, no, that's me done for the day. We are about to make our way up Birdlip Hill now, and then, um, like I said, tip what's left in the back, and then go home, which I'm looking forward to. So yeah, thank you very much for everybody who's watched this video so far. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. Um, if you haven't done so already, check out my new website, it's uh, lukecnhgv.co.uk and um, I've not long had it, I've only had it for a, few, a couple of weeks maybe, but um, I'm doing a daily blog, so um, I'm literally, every day I'm at work, I'm writing a blog while I've got a bit of free time, while I'm waiting to be loaded or some things like that, or while I'm waiting, being tipped, I'm writing down a blog and then at the end of the day I'm putting it all together. And then it's basically, basically a story of what I've done throughout the day. And um, I started Wednesday and I've done today as well. So that's um, three days. Yeah, I had to think then. <laughs> and um, yeah, every, every day I'm going to do a blog on my website. So it's lukescenehdv.co.uk. If that's something you feel like you'd be interested in having a read. They're not long. They're literally a couple of minutes, two, three minutes read. Just lets you know what I'm doing throughout the day, really. So yeah. Thank you very much for watching uh, and until next time drive safe thank you very much and goodbye